Hey everyone, welcome back to the Sunny Edit. So today for you guys, I have the Lisa Eldridge Foundation in-depth review. All of us Lisa Eldridge fans were eagerly awaiting a release like this. This is the Seamless Skin Lisa Eldridge Foundation. When I did my lipstick try on, the four new shades and all of the ones that I owned in my last video, everybody was so so excited about the samples of the foundation. They come in these blister packs. I have tried shades 13 all the way to 20-ish um, and it has been an absolute joy trying to find my shade. I have narrowed it down to two shades. I'll explain everything as the video goes on. Today I will also be announcing the winner of the Lisa Eldridge lipstick giveaway. Before I get into the video, I wanted to say thank you to everybody who messaged me. Beautiful, beautiful messages. Apart from entering the giveaway, everyone was just so excited that they could win a Lisa Eldridge lipstick. But they were also beautiful messages to me, thanking me for even starting such a type of a giveaway. I wanted to say that it's not a problem. I love to support you guys. You support me so much. So after I announce in writing somewhere in this video who's won their choice of lipstick for Christmas I've decided to do a number of giveaways and we're going to kick start it with two new winners or two new entries for another Lisa Eldridge lipstick giveaway so if you've already entered this one this one was closed it's open again I would like to pick two more winners for the Lisa Eldridge lipstick giveaway run up to Christmas I will be doing more and more giveaways so Please keep your eyes peeled for that. All the details of the new Lisa Eldridge lipstick giveaway are in the description box. In this video today, not only am I talking about this particular foundation, I am swatching every single foundation or near to that that I own to show you the tones and exactly what my foundation collection consists of. A quick roundup of what I have on my skin and my face makeup and then we'll get straight into the video. So of course I have the Lisa Eldridge foundation on. On my eyes I'm wearing the Natasha Denona bronze palette. Uh, mascara is my Patrick Ta uh, major volume. On my cheeks I have my Glossier Solar Paint in the shade Heat and then I buffed and set that with my Gucci bronzer. I do have this NYX Marshmallow Primer on, it is amazing. I'm wearing my Lisa Eldridge Highlight in Cosmic Rose and I have on this Clinique Concealer in the shade Biscuit. On my lips, I am wearing a mix of Velvet Ribbon and Velvet Cinnabar. So the packaging, you get your 30ml for £44. I picked the shade 17. I will put on shades 17, 18, 19 and 20. You reveal the capsule from this gold lid and a pump action. This is one of the only type of uh, bottle designs that I've seen that actually sit rather than stand. Speaking of which, the box and the compartment is beautiful, white and gold, and as you open it, you've got your instructions there, and you can also, it depends how you set your vanity up, you can also have that standing with all of your other foundations. Um, absolutely love the design, 10 out of 10, absolutely gorgeous, and it looks very bespoke and different. When I do the try on, I do let you know that the foundation is super, super smoothing on my skin and it gives a beautiful, soft, radiant glow. You can use your fingers, a brush, a blender, everything that Lisa says obviously goes. I haven't needed to set this foundation with powder at all. If you know me and my channel, I don't really set my makeup, but for the sake of this review, I just need you to know that somebody with my skin uh, sort of compatibility, it's dry and oily and I haven't found the need to set it. It hasn't sort of transferred or run at all. We will get some natural light shots in as well. So if you guys want to go ahead and see the demo, then please keep on watching. I did want to mention to you guys, skin prep is always important, but on Lisa's uh, information card, she has said that you must uh, prep your skin really, really well. For me, that looks like when I wash my face, I double cleanse, then I put on my serums, then my moisturizer, I exfoliate once a week anyway and then I put on my primer right before I'm going to put on my base. So you don't have to have your skin extremely wet or anything like that but just prep your skin. A lot of you had messaged me to ask if I was going to go to Lisa's pop-up 
There is nothing more than that I would love to go to Lisa's pop-up shop and buy everything, look at everything, try and meet her. But um, I'm unable to go because of the current situation that we have and travelling I keep to a very, very minimum to protect myself and my family, my boys. So um, I did message with Lisa on Instagram and apparently it's going to be lots of different opportunities. So I'm living vicariously through all of you who have visited and I absolutely love seeing your pictures and your videos and I think it's amazing that you guys got to visit and one day I will too. Right guys, so let's get up close and personal. I'm going to do 17 and 18 on one side. And then this is 18. That is 19. Here is 20. So let's go and have a look at these in natural light and assess if we are in the medium set one. So guys, this is tw um, 17, 18, 19 and 20. I like the brightness that 17 is giving but 20 has disappeared on me. Do you know what I might do? I might buy a couple of these foundations and mix them. Today I think I'm going to mix 17 and 18 on one side and 17 on the other because they're the shades that I think I am. Let's go and do that. So yeah, 17 is matching everything. 18 has a yellow situation that's not blending. Can you see here 19? 20 is completely gone. I think 20 might be the secret winner guys. Let's let me try some on. I did a um, impromptu live on Instagram where I put 17 all over my skin and people who joined and uh, you know the fact that it was live said that 17 seemed perfect. Now I am going to mix 17 and 18 in a moment but I want to show you shade 20. The versatility of this foundation, look how smoothing this is, it's just smoothed out my skin. I mentioned all my prep to you earlier. So this is one pump on half of my face. It gives an ultimate lightweight but medium coverage. I've used three pumps before and it's lasted all day so you can build it. That colour looks perfect. Let's go and put on 20 and then go and look at it in natural light. Wow. Guys, I think it's about tones. A lot of these shades are working for me. Wow, 20's just completely disappeared. Can you see, oh my goodness. I think as women we like a brighter, not necessarily lighter foundation, but sometimes we like the lift that it can give. Um, wow. Can you see the brightness to this, but the exact nature of this? Wow. See with a product like Lisa Eldridge's, I, so I often have different shades in different foundations if I love them. my gosh so i'm shade 13 16 17 and 20. i wonder what would happen if i mixed all of those let's go and have a look at this in natural light guys so guys this is shade 17 and this is shade 20. Um, I think this is my exact, exact match, but I love the brightness of this. So I'm going to mix 17 and 18 together on this side to see what happens. So this side is definitely brighter. 
so more of a lifting shade and then I think this side has um, more of a pink rose undertone for me right let's put on 17 and 18 on top of this so here's 17 and I've put 18 on here and I've mixed the two together that looks really nice maybe a bit yellow I don't really like yellow foundations for me yeah there's definitely a brightness to uh, this side incorporating 17 it didn't go ashy on me at all when I did the live. In fact, I got a lot of compliments uh, at home and online for my foundation. So I definitely have too much left over here. Um, one or two pumps is all you need. Let me know in the comments below which side you prefer. Now let's go and check this in natural light. Here we are guys, that's 17 and 18 mixed and that is and that is my exact skin tone. So I think I'm shade 20 but I have bought the full size in shade 17 and I think it's a perfect match also because it's brightening for me. So what I'm going to do is just put that on the other side. to make it balanced. It really does have that soft focus, even in real life, not just on camera. I'm gonna put on, I don't need it, but I love this Cosmic Rose highlight. I've started to want to put on highlight first. Um, you don't need it, a lot of this at all. It's just really, really, pigmented um so yes i've started to put on my highlighter first because i really want to map out where i want the brightness and then i'm adding a little bit of light dimension um afterwards i'm finding myself getting in a tiny bit of a rut because you do the whole conceal foundation foundation conceal um bronzer blusher i kind of want to work backwards to get a more natural finish more glass skin so i'm loving this uh clinique concealer at the moment in wn30 in biscuit I'm really trying to adopt the less is more because we actually, I think personally, unless it's the style you're going for, we use far too much product. Look, see, you don't need much at all. So including the prep and the highlight, I have to say, this is one of my most flawless bases, but that is weightless. I have other flawless bases, for example, in my last few videos um, and my Instagram stories, I was wearing the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Filter Foundation. This is in the sh shade 7. I wore this to Safari for Max's birthday and people were commenting on my skin. This gives me a flawless base, but I can feel it. You guarantee, guys, I can feel it on my skin. I can, um, it can start to move a little bit and I don't set my makeup really with powder, but I always have to carry something hourglass-ish to set this. Um, so it is good, but this base is absolutely weightless. I just wanted to show you this base in Natural Natural Light. Um, it's the smoothest 
most beautiful base that I have applied today and um, I absolutely love it. I'm going to put on a bit of makeup and let's compare swatches of all the foundations that I own. Hey everyone, so I had promised you on Instagram that I would use every single foundation that I have and compare it to the colour. So I'm going to do that bit with a little bit of music on in the background and I'm going to show you exactly which brand is which. So enjoy. <laughs> At this point, I'm thinking, let's look at number 20. Right guys, let's go and talk about these in natural light. So if you think about it, these are the shades that I have matched myself or that have been colour matched to me and this is the variation that my skin can take. Let's go and talk about my final thoughts. So guys, in conclusion, what are my thoughts on the shade, the bottle, the product, the longevity? Let me tell you. First of all, this product is one of my favourite foundations. Now the reason that I have come to this conclusion is because when I wore it in the blister pack in my sample video of all the lipsticks, I'll link that and you can go ahead and watch that, I fell in love with how smooth it made my skin and then I was like I need to wait for the full size. It smooths out my skin, you don't need a primer, it lasts all day, there are a lot of shades that I could be as you have seen through the process of me trying this brand, but I absolutely adore this foundation. It's in my top 10 for sure. My number one foundation in the world is obviously NARS Barcelona. That's my exact shade. It's the best glow, everything. However, this is in my top, I'd say this is in my top five. I told you at the beginning, I love the packaging. I love that it's like a capsule and it can just sit on your dresser. Shades wise, I think 17 is perfect for my preference. I think I'm shade 20. I mixed 17 and 18 and it went a bit too yellow. So I'm actually either shade 20 or 17. If you are my sort of shade similarity, then please go ahead and try those samples. I think the sample, some of the blister packs are out of stock at the minute, but you know Lisa always keeps us up to date. Congratulations to the winner of my Lisa Eldridge giveaway. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, we are going to do this Lisa Eldridge lipstick giveaway again. Um, it's a Christmas one and this time there will be two lucky winners of the Lisa Eldridge lipstick. So go ahead and enter. The fact that there is such a wide spectrum of colours that end up suiting us can be to do with ingredients, uh, body temperature, skin type, but the fact that the shades were very similar in tone and you couldn't see massive, massive differences, this tells me that this is my correct shade. And also it does show the diversity that there is available now and that there are so many mixing agents and pigments and special ingredients that companies use. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I'm getting in the mood for more festive videos. I will be filming the uh, Viserot uh, quads really, really soon. I picked up three. If you go over on Instagram, I've done a reel on me using all uh, four of the shades from the green palette. This one is the Peridot or Peridot palette. Um, and then I've also got Lapis and Garnet. I think I need to get Bullion, but anyway, that is another video which I'm gonna try and film today or later on uh, this week. Again, congratulations to the winner and who's gonna be the next two?
See you in the next one, guys.